Thanks very much, Tom. The film festival is entering its final weekend, but as CTV's Ashley Rowe found out tonight, there are more than stars still shining at TIFF. Ashley, tonight you were also rubbing shoulders with royalty. That's right, Pauline. Well, wow. as part of her official visit to Toronto, the Countess of Wessex dropped into the Toronto International Film Festival and graced the red carpet for the premiere of Rebel. The Countess of Wessex was looking very Hollywood tonight. Her Royal Highness hit the red carpet for the premiere of Rebel. I love the arts. Um, it's a great opportunity for me to be able to hear, come here to support the festival. I know it's growing and I hope that continues to be the case. How does the Montreal-born director feel about being handed the royal treatment? It's almost surreal actually. We're not used to royalty and I'm not a, a particularly a royalist kind of guy, but uh, it's, it's quite interesting. And it's a privilege. Your Royal Highness. Earlier in the evening, the Countess lended a hand as the Lieutenant Governor handed out Diamond Jubilee medals to three Canadian film industry heavyweights, including TIFF CEO Pierce Handling. With royalty, uh, you feel you're rubbing up against uh, Buckingham Palace and tradition and history, so it'll be very special. And very special red carpet events on day nine of the festival. Heartthrob Zac Efron quickly brushed past reporters on his way to the premiere of Paperboy. Hi, uh, how's it going? I'm so sorry, guys. But over at the Roy Thompson Hall, Tommy Lee Jones spoke to us about why he wanted to be part of the historical drama emperor. If we tell our story truly, um, we'll learn some things about um, the, the very early days of the rebuilding of the relationship between the Japan and, and the United States. Co-star Matthew Fox says he was intrigued to go in-depth about a part of history he didn't know much about. Anytime I get an opportunity to combine uh, storytelling with learning more about history, um, I'm always very happy. It's, it's a win-win. Yes, the stars continue to shine with two days left of the Toronto International Film Festival. And Pauline, I just want to qualify where we are right now. We're outside the Bloke and Fourth. It's the official after, after party for Paperboy, of course, starring Zac Efron. We hear that he is still inside partying. It's packed in there. There are plenty of people outside here, and I'm sure they are all looking forward to getting a glimpse of Zac Efron this evening. So tomorrow, what can we expect from the Toronto International Film Festival? Well, Mark and Craig Kielberger will be gracing the red carpet, and Spike Lee's tribute film to Michael Jackson's Bad Album will also be premiered. Reporting live, I'm Ashley Ropaline. Over to you. Thank you very much, Ashley. In other news, it's.